Hi, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. Each Sunday morning, to accompany the message uh, that we offer on Sunday mornings, we provide uh, message notes that uh, you can fill in the blanks, you can write in the margins, whatever is helpful to you. Many find it helpful to kind of keep track uh, of uh, ideas that are presented in the message. Some people find it a distraction, so it's not for everyone. But uh, along with those message notes that you can utilize, there's five days of devotion material, five days in which you can Monday through Friday uh, deepen your understanding of the scripture as well as the message that is presented on Sunday morning. So this is my devotion for Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. <clears throat> we have been talking about doxologies. When you say uh, or hear the word doxology, you're probably thinking of a quote unquote, the doxology often uh, shared uh, during the offertory, uh, after the offertory, when the collection is being brought forth in the, uh, to the front of the sanctuary. It's the praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I mean, you recognize that, right? Uh, especially if you're a certain age, uh, probably a little bit older uh, than some. But a doxology means the study of praise. And it's actually a literary device in our scriptures uh, that is uh, offered as just a moment of prayer and praise uh, for our God. Paul uses them. He places them in his, uh, in his writings. He might be sharing some type of theological idea, but then uh, that theology gives way to the praise of God. And so he offers a little doxology. We're going to talk more about a specific doxology that is found in our scriptures tomorrow. But uh, today I just kind of want to share with you a few ideas about where those other doxologies are in our scriptures. Here's a few of them. You might want to jot these down. It's First Chronicles 29, 10 to 13. Psalm 19, verse 1, number 6, verses 22 to 26, 1 Corinthians 15, 58, 1 Thessalonians 2, 16 to 17, and Revelation 1, uh, verses 5b, that is the second part of that uh, verse, uh, through 6. You can read those as doxologies or a study of praise of our God and found in our scriptures. Oftentimes they're used as benedictions. Uh, doxology means the study of praise. Benediction means bene means well. Diction means to, to speak. So a benediction is to speak well of. It's a ending a service with a, a good word. So those are some ideas uh, about where you might find some, some benedictions. Uh, the one that we're going to, or excuse me, some doxologies, uh, the doxology that we're going to consider tomorrow is found in Ephesians 3, verses 20 to 21. So there's a, a bunch of scriptural references for doxologies. And uh, I, I hope that you'll have uh, some time to look up some of those uh, scriptures, to further explore them, to uh, sort of uh, look at them as just a, a pause in the scripture, to just stop, maybe reflect, uh, and then to offer a word of praise to our God. That's all I have to share with you. Tomorrow we're going to talk about that uh, Ephesians doxology that Paul wrote, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's pray. Gracious God, we're thankful for this time together. We ask that uh, uh, as our world continues to live under uh, this uh, pandemic of uh, COVID-19, that you'll keep us safe, that uh, we will use our God-given uh, intelligence uh, to keep ourselves safe, to wear masks, to keep our distance so that uh, we can uh, continue to do your work in the world. We pray for this, Lord, in the name of Christ and in the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, friends, have a great day and God bless.